back to Philadelphia. So he has asthma, so he doesn't smoke. So what he did was he turned um, the pot into butter. It's called ganja butter. And he said to me, he goes, look, man, here's what you do. You take an olive bowl, like the size of an olive pit, put it on a tostito, microwave it, and you'll be fine. So I thought I was a big guy, so I didn't listen to him. And I took three tablespoons full, put it on three crackers, microwave, they made it. So I don't remember my flight back to Philadelphia, but apparently I had a stopover in Chicago, and I don't remember that either, but I do have a credit card receipt with $300 worth of Burger King. And it is an honest to God true story. But yeah, back in, you guys are, back in, uh, back, back in Philadelphia, I had a really bad crack addiction, and um, no, it's true. And uh, I came out to California to try and get sober, and so I do this whole 12-step thing. And the first thing they do to me is they give me this huge 300-page book. And they're like, read it. And I'm like, dude, I just got off the crack. How am I supposed to read this book? So I read the book, and every story in the book is basically like, I had a car, I had a wife, I had a good job, I had $20 million, and I started smoking crack, and I lost it all. And now that I have sobriety, like, I want to do better. From what I can see at these meetings, man, you're not getting your car and your life back. Dude. You'll be lucky to date a fat chick and have a brand new scooter, you know? And um, actually, the 12 step thing, the 12 step thing, man, it's totally crazy. Like, you got a step one, step two, step three. I mean, I can't even put together IKEA furniture. How am I supposed to put my life together through steps? So I came out with my own sobriety program. It has one step. Step one, don't smoke crack. If you can follow that, then you're pretty much okay with this. So I'm dating this girl now, and um, you know, I, I don't understand, like, it was a fix-up, but why is it when people see two fat people, they automatically assume they should be dating? You know, like, even though I like cupcakes, my, my thing still works, you know what I mean? Like, I don't subscribe to Fat Playboy or Chubby Penthouse or anything like that. You know, like, if I had one leg, would the situation be the same? Would it be like Dave, this is Sally, she was in a horrible car accident, you guys would make a good couple, and hop along on your date or whatever? But the only two people who should ever be together, based on their physical traits, are the retarded. Like, Corky, this is Becky, she also has Down Syndrome. Step back, watching butt heads as they try to shake hands. You know? Now hold on one second, guys. We're gonna take a time out. Take your hands off. We're gonna take your hands off. We're gonna go back in one second, but I just wanted to tell a joke for you guys, okay? Because I know you're part of this. How do you? What's green, slimy, and hates Jews? Schnapsies. Skittles and Hershey bars waiting for you. She's in bed playing with herself with a ho ho. We start making out. You know, she goes to me, there's going to be a surprise. I'm like, what? She goes, you'll see. The doorbell rings, the pizza guy shows up. We actually made one of those sex tapes that's going to be on Animal Planet next week. And um, yeah, actually, but when I met this girl, it was funny. She was wearing a La Jolla lifeguard t shirt. And I look at her and I go, what are you guarding? Cupcakes? You know, I, I really don't understand. And also, like, La Jolla guy. Philly and I had to learn Spanish, so it was kind of hard. But La Jolla actually means gold digger, which um, I don't know if you knew that. So, so thank you. Uh, also, I have a couple more and then I'll finish. Um, this whole Michael Vick thing, and you guys know about this Michael Vick thing, right? Okay, let me say this. First of all, and this really isn't a joke, I just want to be political for a second. It is disgusting what he allegedly did to this dog, or these dogs, okay? But it's also disgusting the way we're trying him in the media right now. I mean, he is innocent until proven guilty, and it is a dog, people. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be buying his jerseys if you really want to, or buying a playing card with him on it. And he's still innocent. I mean, O.J. Simpson killed a white woman, and I still watch Naked Gun, okay? Michael Jackson had sex with little boys, and I still listen to Thriller. And R. Kelly peed on a 15-year-old girl, and I still believe I can fly. So. Anyway, last thing, last thing, you guys are awesome, and then I'll leave you guys, okay? Basically, so I went to Cheesecake Factory with this girl I'm seeing, the big girl, the other day. And um, I ate a lot, and it was time for dessert, so I ordered a seven-layer chocolate cake. 